Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Today is Friday, August 25th. Um, sorry if y'all hear the AC blowing in the background. It's a thousand degrees in Houston, so we need it. Um, okay, so yeah, it's Friday. It's day night. Not to say every night, day night. But it's day night. <laughs> and we're going to dinner. Um, we're going to Lock Bar for dinner. I went probably like a month or so ago with one of my friends but I didn't vlog it um so I'll take y'all with me and vlog it tonight the food there's really good it's Houston restaurants weeks still it's been going on for like a month if you like um so I think this is the last weekend of it or maybe next weekend I don't know but anyway so yeah I said yeah maybe next weekend but anyway so yeah, that's what's going on. Um, I'm gonna vlog this weekend. We're doing some packing this weekend because we are moving next Monday. I'm already packed. I'm already packed. No, I'm saying me and them are gonna do some packing. Oh, y'all packing. Yeah. They gonna be helping you pack. Anyway. That's what's up. That's because what's up. we move, we as in we, move on, oh, on Monday, oh, Labor days. Day. Stop it. You finna count my nerves. We move on Monday on Labor Day, okay? So, we gotta start, you know, getting some stuff done. Um, also, I just have some other stuff this weekend that I wanna do, that I wanna get done, some errands that I need to run. So, yeah, I'm gonna take y'all along with me. Should be a good little vlog before the actual move your vlog because I'm a vlog the process and I just feel it in my soul is gonna be chaotic. I feel it. You think it's gonna be chaotic? Yeah. Uh, next weekend? I don't think so. And my mom's coming to town next weekend, child. I don't even know why she's coming to town, but she's coming to town. And it's really gonna be chaotic. But anyway, so yeah this is what I have on for dinner. This little tank top from um Target. My little Urban Outfitter earrings. They have some of the best earrings. I did my hair in like the little flip, you know, the end flip things. It came out really cute. Um, I cut it last weekend. I want to cut it shorter though. I want to go back to a bob. So I'll probably do that after we move and everything. And then I'm just wearing a skirt from Zara, like a utility style skirt and some ASICs. I'll show y'all later the full fit, but yeah, so we're in traffic. I'll talk to y'all when we get there. I do, man, out here in uh, Paris. Be your own. And, oh. and where? Paris. Oh, because like colonial. Look at her. Huh. Look at the woman, man. Look at her. Huh. That ain't my. That ain't my. That ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on Ocean Drive with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Hey. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby. Whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in a household. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh. All right, so we are done with dinner at um Bach Bar. What would you give it? Uh, I don't know. Well, I've been there before. My food was good. My food was like a solid nine out of ten. I don't know what the bar is. Yeah, I guess it was cool, dude. I don't know. I don't got no rain. Well, now we're just walking around um, River Oaks District Shopping Center. She went to Hermes. Well, Hermes is. No, most Rolex back there. Cartier's right there. Oh, this is Hermes right here. <laughs> they have a bunch of designer stores. Yeah. That's it. Nothing about leftovers. Yep. I have leftovers. Tomorrow, I. He's 
so selfish. Huh? Aye, 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 aye. Aye. Whatever. Um, but yeah, so we're headed back to the car now. So bye. Good morning vlog. You already know what's up. We are in the kitchen. Today is Saturday and we got some stuff to do today. So I'm already ready, dressed for this little Saturday girl errands kind of day, okay? Um, I'm just going for like this little tennis look today, cute little tennis girl look. So I just have on this headband, this black headband. I literally got this from Target in a pack. Um, and then Halara top, crisscross in the back. And then this cute little Halara tennis skirt. And then my A6 and high socks. So that's the fit for today. Um, I'm going to link these A6 down below. I know like A6 are all the hype, all the craze right now. Um, I had a pair of A6 before. Like there's a pair in my closet right now. Um, but I used to just like, those were my running shoes, never like style wear kind of shoes and so i love that they're becoming like the new dad shoe um the ones that everybody else are linking the gel kano ones um those are typically sold out everywhere they're cute but they're also on the pricier side i want to say they're between like 140 and 160 and not to say this is much of a price difference but these are a little more affordable so i got this pair so these are the a6 uh gel 1130s and first of all these are so freaking comfortable but i love how they have the brown in them and the cream sole but still the white and the silver these are gonna eat eat for the fall okay imagine this these with like a cute little brown um workout set yeah these are gonna eat um so yeah, I'll link these down below. Really, really cute. I got these from Aritzia um, on the website. So I'll see if they still have them. As soon as I saw them, I was like, check out. Um, because ASICs have been selling out like crazy. But I'll see where I can find them and link them down below. These were only like 90 I paid 90 or 95 bucks for them. So super affordable. Um, all right, so let's get this day going. We got places to go things to do first i want to go buy this like i don't know if you call it like a thrift shop antique shop i don't know what it is but we got to go by there because i passed by one in montrose um a few weekends ago and they look like they had really good stuff so i just kind of want to see um what they have um as far as furniture and stuff then I need to go to Sephora. I have no more moisturizer for my face. Like this is literally just SPF. Yeah. Um, we gotta go to Target because I need a few things from Target. And then I'm gonna get iced coffee. And y'all know Far Starbucks, what? Starbucks started selling their fall drinks Thursday. I'm not really a pumpkin spice kind of girl though. Like love fall definitely my favorite season but like the pumpkin spice lattes and stuff i don't know I, like i try to force myself into it every year but i do like the pumpkin cream cold brew situation that they do but i'm not gonna get that um there are two like little local coffee shops by where we're going so i might pop into one of those and get a little coffee you know you gotta have a little coffee while you're running your errands so we might do that but anyway, um, let's go ahead and head out. And honestly, I'm looking over here at this pile of stuff. Y'all know I got this pile of stuff in my living room. Or technically my dining room over here. All of this stuff. You can't even see it all. All of that stuff over there that is already boxed up and stuff. Well, there are some bags of clothes and stuff that need to be dropped off at Goodwill. So I'll probably do that today because if I don't do it, they just gonna move with us and we don't want that okay so uh, yeah let's get this day started y'all know what's so annoying what's so annoying is like when you're going about your day like you're having a great day not a good day but a great day minding your business and all of a sudden you get bad news like pew, bad news horrible news 
and I'm not saying like sad news like somebody died or something like that but just bad news like something didn't go how you wanted it to or you know what I mean like ruined your whole day whole day ruined so <clears throat> I'm trying not to let my whole day be ruined I'm trying to shake back and just sorry people are like over there looking at me in the cars I'm trying to shake back and like still have a great day but whoo Woo! all right let's go to sephora clearly we are in the car about to head out but i just thought i'd do like a quick little sephora haul so that we don't have to do when we get home you know i don't have to stand in the kitchen and be like ah, sephora, nah, nah, nah. let's just do it while we in the car so sephora haul i spent 111 dollars and 51 cents which is kind of crazy because I went in there for two things but anyway so the two things that I actually went in there for um the belief aqua bomb moisturizer I've been using this um and I really like it so I thought I'd repurchase that uh and then a Sephora lip liner this is in the color nude beige I have no idea where mine went so yeah anyway and so the two things that i got that i didn't go in there for i got a new uh like contour stick bronze stick whatever you want to call it so i got the um rare beauty one and i got it in the shade always sunny yeah so got that because i have been using this uh fenty beauty the fenty beauty matchstick and y'all you know makeup go bad right you know like makeup expires i have had that since rihanna came out with fenty beauty and i think one of her first products when the line launched was the matchsticks and i had all three i had the concealer the um highlighter and the contour stick because they came together and all I have left is the contour stick because you know you just need like a little bit but anyway so I got this one because I heard this one is super super blendable really good so we're gonna try it out and I'm out of concealer so I got a new one to try I have been using the NARS concealers and I do like those but um I was like what else they got you know so I picked up this new Charlotte Tilbury concealer I think it's like something new to her line um it's a part of the beautiful skin line and i use the beautiful skin foundation so i think they'll go well together and i got this one in a shade 8.5 medium they were out of a lot of shades so i'm just gonna try this one see if it works and if not i bring it back so yeah that's all i got literally four items dang did i lose that uh-uh did i already lose the dang on um oh no there it go lip liner i was about to say oh no all right so next stop i think we're gonna go to um the place i was talking about the guilt i think it's called the guilt shop or something like that i think we're gonna go there next it's already 1107 i'm not gonna lie i'm getting kind of hungry and it's low-key a little past my coffee window um if you know you know your girl is caffeine sensitive so yeah so i'm just like should i go get a coffee and then there's a coffee shop right over here uh what's it called blue blue something it's like a restaurant coffee shop situation if y'all saw it was like a recent vlog like maybe not the last one but maybe the one before that i tried that ice cream coffee from there <clears throat> no baby no not going back there okay no 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 but all right let's go ahead and head out because the day the day is moving and it's already 11 o'clock turn left onto south I'm so tempted to go to freaking Trader Joe's, y'all, and start getting fall stuff. But, uh, 
it's a thousand degrees outside. Okay, so back in the car, um, went into the little the little shop place or whatever. There was so much stuff in there and there were so many people in there. I was like, eh, eh. this is, mm, 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 mm. it was a lot. So, um, it almost gave the vibe of basically like a thrift shop or like a Goodwill consignment shop kind of situation. The, like it just had more of everything so there was like a ton of furniture there was a ton of um like artwork and just stuff like that um not really our vibe sorry siri talking not really our vibe and what we're looking for um which is fine because i didn't go in there looking for anything in particular um so yeah that it was pretty much a bust for me but I don't know I think it's cool if you're into like antiquing and you know finding older things and maybe like vamping it up to make it you know what I mean that, that's not really my thing though so anyway TJ Maxx Marshall's Home Goods was all like right down the street from it so <laughs> And that's where we at, girl. I got Chick-fil-A. Um, I just got some chicken tenders and a small fry because I had a reward for a free fry. Um but I'm parked at Target, y'all. While I was in the line for Chick-fil-A and the guy told me like to go up to the stop sign and wait. Why I pulled up and hit this man walking in front of my car. Them Chick-fil-A walker, workers, y'all be walking all willy nilly. Y'all gotta move, okay? Like I apologize twice to him, but like, sorry, sir. You just walked in front of my car, like. Anyway, I'm finna eat this Chick-fil-A before I go up into Target because I know I'm be in Target for um, a while because that's just, you know, that's just how we do. So, I'm finna eat this Chick-fil-A and uh, yeah, I always get barbecue sauce and honey mustard. Those are my Chick-fil-A sauces. Argue with your mama about it. I do not like Chick-fil-A sauce. Are you kidding me? It's disgusting. Um, not a fan of it. But uh, yeah. So, all right, bye y'all. All right. So in Target, so far, all I have um are some towels by Casa Luna. Uh, I got their uh, organic cotton bath towels. I got it in gray and white. And then I got the Threshold Performance Plus washcloths in gray and white as well, just because I didn't want to spend as much money on washcloths. I just feel like they're not as important. But I'm looking at the Casa Luna bedding right now. Have y'all tried it? Let me know. Is it worth the money? Let me know, because I'm looking at it. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get these shoe shelves for the closet just so we have some way to organize our shoes. So it's by the Room Essentials brand, which is kind of like the cheap college student, whatever brand, but it's fine. It's just for stacking shoes. And it's on sale for $13.60. So I'm gonna grab two. I really like these for like the closet, closet organization. I like this color. It's like a gray beige color. They're pretty deep. I like how they're structured, but like still fabric felty. And not like this. You know? It'll always keep its structure. I think I'm gonna come back and get these though once we move in next uh, weekend. I'm gonna come get these for the closet. Target only has a few fall candles, but they have them like in these cute little, ignore the Stanley, these cute little glasses. 
They're pretty big. I'm not a fan of the harvest spice though. But they also bought back the salted honey. It smells like the sole de Janeiro. Back at home, as y'all can see, there's a lot of stuff over here that we got today. So let's go through it. So I got these cute little oven mitts. They have like grips on them. That's what these things are. Uh, set of two, $10 by this brand, if you care. So yeah, got these. Really needed some more um, oven mitts because I'm ashamed. Should I show y'all? It's kind of embarrassing. This is a hole too. Like, don't ask what happened. Okay, anyway, got those. Um, also got some dish towels from there. They were $9.99 for a set of three. Yeah. And I'm trying to see the brand. The brand is covered, so I can't even show y'all. But they're just like these nice gray and white striped nice dish towels. The last thing that I got from Home Goods are some pillows. I was like, did I leave the pillows outside by the car? But anyway, here are the pillows. Two pillows in here. These are the Ralph Lauren pillows. Signature Ideal Comfort. No, what are they called? Bronze Comfort. So these are king size pillows. Um, we're gonna get a king size bed, but also the bed that I have now is a queen. But the pillows that I have are so small. So I'm like, I feel like the king size pillows would go good with that bed as well until we get a king bed. But I didn't think about it. King pillows require king pillowcases. And your girl don't have none. So <laughs> anyway, <laughs> got those. Uh, that's all I got from Home Goods, Marshalls. From Target, I got. I told y'all I got these Casa Luna towels. These are the organic cotton bath towels. Will it focus? Maybe, maybe not. Whatever. These are the ones that I got. Um, I got them in this dark gray color. And then I also got them in just a white color. I really like white towels, but obviously white towels stain easier. So like makeup just other stuff you know and I got two of each color because these were I want to say $12 a piece for the big towels so yeah I got two of each right now so that's four towels and then we'll just kind of build up on that as we go there's like no rushes just the two of us and we have a washer dryer <laughs> um but yeah and so I got the threshold performance washcloths in gray and they match perfectly with the gray from Casa Luna and the uh, same ones in white and clearly they match perfectly with the white from Casa Luna um yeah I thought about getting the performance plush no why do I keep saying plush plus like big towels bath towels but I felt them and compared them to the Casa Luna and the Casa Luna was like way so, like more soft and plush and stuff so I just went with those um do what you will with that information get what you want so this is the best edge control in my opinion that they sell in Target so got that um needed to re-up on bar soap I just get the Dove regular soap and then they had this little like saucer thingy like for you to put your sauce on your chicken and stuff and you grill they had this one sell for three dollars and it matches with the grill set it matches kind of perfectly with the grill set that i um got dante so i just got this to go with it this is the last bag and these are just like the plastic plates from target the cups and the bowls um i already have some up there in gray and black but i'm gonna throw those away and then replace them with these but these are not i'm gonna give these to my brother from when he moves so that's what that is and literally all of those were like 50 cents a piece so 
Yeah, y'all. That, that's all I got. That's all I got today. I feel like we did a lot of shopping, but we didn't really get a lot, which I'm not mad at because I'm not moved yet, you know? But I did want to get some stuff to replace some of the old stuff that I have before I move. So, yeah, it's a process, but we're going to be shopping for a while, okay? For a while. But anyway, I'm about to chill for a little bit um, and then probably start tackling getting rid of some some stuff and packing some stuff up so yeah <laughs> Sunday um another day another Halara set <laughs> but it's currently what time is it 11 30 no 11 50 ah, it's almost noon it's not even morning anymore but um I've already had a day <laughs> I've already got so much done but I just kind of didn't bring the camera because it wasn't anything interesting to show I literally took Chloe to the vet this morning dropped her off there she'll probably be there all day and then um what else did I do? Oh, I went to Big Lots because I needed some packaging tape and it was right there, some packing tape, um, cause I ran out yesterday. And then I dropped the stuff off at the Goodwill donation that I didn't get to do yesterday. <clears throat> Came back, made some breakfast, made a little coffee. Yeah. Mm. And now I just have YouTube on in the background, McKenna's new video and wait, because do y'all watch McKenna? McKenna videos be three hours long. Three hours long. Babe. <laughs> it's fine because I watch them. Like, I'll watch all three hours, but like, I kind of have them on in the background. I'm like, babe, three hours? That's longer than a movie. That is, that's insane. I can't even imagine how long it takes to edit that. Like, mm mm. Anyway. So yeah, um, that's what's going on. I guess I'm about to start kind of packing some more stuff up since I got some more tape, putting some more of these boxes together. As y'all can see, this is the progress. I broke the desk down yesterday, um, took the mirror off the wall. Yeah, things are happening, girl. Things are happening. Mm. So I'm gonna pack some more stuff up. 
I just don't even know where to start because I just feel like I need everything and I don't need it to be in boxes. <sighs> anyway, all right, well, I just wanted to update y'all, let y'all know what was going on. This little Halar outfit is so cute. Like, this isn't sponsored. I did a sponsored video with them, but this isn't sponsored. I just want to let y'all know I really wear their stuff and it's so comfortable and cute. Um, look at the back of it. If you didn't see the Halara video, look at the back of it. Cute little cutout. And then the leggings have the crisscross waistband right here. And I think this one is the pet resistant one. So like pet, if you have a pet, pet hair doesn't stick to it or anything like that. And really lint doesn't stick to it either. I think that all kind of plays a part in the pet resistant thing. And then I just have it on with my A6. So probably like 106 degrees outside yeah 106 degrees um let's see yeah so if you're one of the people who be like oh summer this summer that oh we not ready for fall let us enjoy summer to Babe, you don't live in Texas where it's 10 something every single day. Okay, we don't want to hear it. We are ready for fall. We are re ready for cooler weather. It's 100 plus every single day. We are sick of it. Let's not even talk about how much my electricity bill be. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> all right. That's all I came on here to say. I'll talk to y'all when I'm doing something. All right, so this is like the updated moving pile as of now. Um, it might not look like much or like I added much, but I actually did. I actually added all of these boxes over here. One, two, three, and some other stuff. Yeah, I, I added a good bit. So, um, yeah. That's how much I got done today. And the kitchen, pretty much empty. This is still crooked. What is that? It's like the wind blowing super hard, like it's about to rain or something, but it ain't about to rain. We ain't had rain in I don't know how long. So anyway, it ain't about to rain. So, okay. I'm just moving y'all and talking y'all. Anyway, so that's that for all of that as you can see this is kind of a mess the bathroom will be tackled this week it's not really a whole lot that needs to be done in the bathroom honestly um but gonna tackle that this week and it's not a whole lot left that needs to be done y'all like i feel like to say i've been living in a two-bedroom apartment by myself for like three four years now yeah, it's definitely been like three, four years. I feel like I accumulated a lot of stuff, but I also like to consider myself like a minimalist. So I don't have a bunch of just stuff like knickknacks and stuff like that. Like I just don't have a lot of in which when it comes times like this to move and stuff, I'm grateful I don't have a lot of knickknacks and stuff because I don't have to like figure out where to put this stuff. And you know what I mean? What to do with this stuff. And I've kind of realized that packing up and stuff. Um, and any things that I did have that were like knickknacks and stuff, I, girl, I was like, 
I, I don't have a problem getting rid of stuff like I don't really have like a hold on to anything or like a lot of things don't really have sentimental value to me unless like it's something extreme like it was given to me by somebody who died like okay yeah <laughs> I was like I need to keep it or something you know what I mean but um anyway so that's that I hope y'all enjoyed this vlog I don't think it was that exciting hopefully I edited and put it up for y'all <laughs> because yeah let me tell y'all probably starting next week with the moving vlog and all of that stuff content will get better like I know I keep saying that but like in this apartment I have just been in a content rut like I'm just so over it I'm so over the lighting in here I'm so over just the vibe in here like I'm just so over the scenery in here and I'm just ready to move like <laughs> I know y'all can tell um so anyway content will definitely be getting way better hopefully you know you'll see a better side of me <laughs> Hopefully we'll start getting more personality and stuff out of me because right now like it's just only so much I can do like I can only so much show so much personality like while I'm packing and stuff girl like here's a box <laughs> like what do you want me to do <laughs> but anyway so yeah that's that I hope y'all enjoyed the vloggy vlog I will see y'all next week in the moving vlog I should probably put my arm down because I need to shave but I'll see y'all next week in the moving vlog my mom's coming to town next weekend so it should be a lot going on honestly um so yeah hope y'all enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see y'all later bye